Hey guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. This is pretty much, pretty much, basically the look I was wearing in my favorites video, my February favorites. It was so funny because when I sat down to do my makeup for that video, I brought out all of my reddish, pinkish, orangey-ish, cranberry shades, and I just sat them on the table and I was just like dipping into them and just doing my makeup. I really wasn't thinking about it, and then I was so overwhelmed by how many of you guys wanted a tutorial on this look. When I posted my favorites video and I started reading through the comments, I was like, like, damn it! Why didn't I write them down? Why didn't I put the shadows aside so I knew exactly what I used? But I didn't do that because I'm an idiot and I didn't think you guys would want a tutorial on this look since I always do warm, smoky eyes like this. So of course I had to recreate the look for you guys. I pretty much did use all the eyeshadows I used. I used the majority of the ones I remembered. There were obviously some standout eyeshadows like the one on my lid, the outer corners. Like I definitely used the same eyeshadows I used last time, but there were probably a couple that I missed that I don't remember and the rest of my face is exactly the same except my highlight I try a different highlight in this video can you guess what highlight I tried out today it's brand new it's by a youtuber yeah I changed my highlight but I thought that you guys wouldn't mind that it's just the highlight so if you want to see how to get this look then just keep watching Okay, so for the eyes portion of this video, we are totally doing a talk through because <laughs> I don't remember how I did this. I mean, I remember how I did it, but I don't remember the exact shades I used. I remember most of the shades. I remember that it was mainly these shades right here. I gathered all of them and I put them in this little metal tin palette. Mostly ColourPop, but a few other brands in here as well. So we're gonna work off of this because I'm pretty sure these are the shades I used. <laughs> yeah. I already primed my eyes and I set down the primer with some face powder so we're all primed, we're ready to go. The first shade I'm going in with is this one by ColourPop, it's called Wake Up Call. And on a fluffy blending brush I'm just going to be applying this color into my crease. This is going to be our transition shade. I'm just going to apply this all over the place. Mainly in the crease but all over the place. The next eyeshadow I'm gonna use is the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Poppy. And I'm gonna focus this color in my crease as well, but I'm gonna keep this one a little bit lower than the other one. I don't want it to pass my crease. I just wanna add a pop of this color in my crease. Okay, so I actually think I added a little bit of Chickadee in my crease. Just a little bit of this. This is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. Okay, so this next part, I definitely remember this. Especially because my brush still has the eyeshadow residue on it. I took the ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Stay Golden and I used this Flower E01 brush and I just packed this on my entire lid. I'm also gonna just bring this color into my crease like you see me doing right here. Just kind of blending out the edges a little bit. We will go in and blend in a second, but you know. Okay, so I'm going to take this eyeshadow from Anastasia called Blazing and I'm just going to use this color in my crease. I'm going to blend out any of the harsh edges that that red shadow created. I am almost positive I used this eyeshadow. Okay, so I totally remember going into this eyeshadow right here. This is called Note to Self and I'm just going to use this eyeshadow to really blend out my crease. I'm gonna take the ColourPop eyeshadow called Hear Me Out and I'm just gonna use this to highlight my brow bone and to kind of clean up that area. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Chickadee by Makeup Geek and I'm just gonna dust a little bit of this in my crease. It's just gonna give a subtle warmth to the crease. I'm gonna go back into that color we used on the lid and I'm just gonna intensify it a little bit. Okay, so this part I remember perfectly. I went in with the Makeup Forever eyeshadow in the shade M844. And I'm just gonna focus this color on the outer corners and drag this into my crease a little bit, but I'm not gonna move it towards the inner part of my eyelid. Just focusing this right at the outer corners and a bit in my crease. I'm gonna take that first crease shade we used in the beginning called Wake Up Call by ColourPop. And I'm just gonna blend some of this color into the crease just to make sure, you know, or blending. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so for this part, I'm gonna do this step even though I don't think it's necessary, just because I know that this is what I did, and I don't want it to alter the finished look. So I took the shade High Strung from ColourPop, and what I did was I took it on my finger, and I started to pack this on my inner corners here, like on the inner parts of my lid. But then I did that and I didn't really love it, so I took the shade Roulette. This is by Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to apply this eyeshadow right on top. I just like how this one looks better. It gives it a more golden peachy tone versus High Strung. That one is a little bit more like rose gold, but more pinky. This one's more gold. I'm gonna touch that up at the very end, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the next step. I'm gonna take the NARS eyeshadow in the shade Coconut Grove. It's just a very dark, almost black brown, but it's brown. And on a small crease brush, I'm just gonna add this to the outer corners right here. And I'm just gonna start blending this. I'm gonna build up this color slowly because I don't want it to be too harsh or too intense. And I'm just gonna slightly drag this into the crease. But that's it, like no more than that. I'm gonna go back into Chickadee one more time and just do the exact same thing. Dust this in my crease. And then I'm just gonna intensify the brown just a little bit, but like right at the outer edge. I'm not gonna drag this up. Now I'm just gonna take a makeup remover wipe and I am going to clean up all the fallout because, well, you know, there's a lot. Okay, so moving on to the face, I'm using the Becca First Light Priming Filter and I'm just gonna use this to prime my skin. I love this, you guys know this. So I'm putting that underneath my foundation and I'm gonna be mixing two foundations today. I'm gonna take the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation and I'm gonna mix it with the number seven Lift and Luminate Foundation. I just did one pump of the Armani one and then one pump of the number seven one. Mixed it together on the back of my hand and applied it to my entire face. And I'm using the new Equal Tools sponge and I love it. For concealer, I'm gonna take the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And on this tiny little brush, I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes. This is gonna cover up my dark circles and it's also gonna brighten the skin a little bit. I'm gonna use this concealer to highlight certain parts of my face as well. And then I'm gonna set that down using the Cover FX um, Loose Translucent Setting Powder. I love this. I'm just gonna set pretty much my entire face. I should have changed my brush, but I didn't. So I'm just setting the face. Okay, so to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna quickly just highlight some more underneath the brow bone because a lot of it was blended away. I'm gonna add that pretty intensely and then I'm just gonna blend everything together and then I'm gonna add some more just so that everything is nice and blended into each other. Then I'm gonna take Chickadee one more time and I'm just gonna blend it right there into the curry. So for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take that Makeup Forever eyeshadow and I'm just gonna buff this on my lower lashes, like I said, all the way across. So from outer corner all the way to inner corner, I want this color to look pretty intense. And then I'm gonna take the ColourPop eyeshadow in Note to Self and I'm just gonna blend out the harsh edges. For eyeliner, I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs Eyeliner in Fine Wine. I know everyone's been using these recently, but they're so amazing, they're really good. I'm just applying that to my waterline and I'm tight lining with this as well. And then I'm gonna blend that out with a pencil brush because I applied a lot to my lower lash line so that I can smudge it and it look nice and red and smoky. I like the look of red under eyes. I know not everybody does, but I think it looks pretty cool with this look. And then I just blended it some more with that same ColourPop eyeshadow. Then I took this shade right here. This is the NARS Single Shadow in Coconut Grove. And I am just applying this right at the outer corners. I'm not dragging this color in. I'm just keeping that right at the end. And then I took some more of that brown and applied it to the top just to deepen up that shade a little bit. 
For my inner corner highlight, I took the Pixie Glowy Powder in Santorini Sunset. Then I applied some mascara and popped on the Ardell Fall Season 113. Okay, so now that I'm done with my eyes completely, I'm gonna take some of that roulette shade we used on the entire lid, and I'm just gonna intensify it a little bit. My lashes did not go on correctly. I totally messed up on this eye. I just couldn't put them on right today. It was a really bad day for lashes. I even picked up my hair. I was like so frustrated and hot. So yeah, my, my lashes are totally wonky, but it's like midnight, okay? I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup. To finish up the face, I'm gonna take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm gonna contour with this. I'm gonna speed this up because you've seen me contour, especially with this bronzer, like 100 trillion times. So I'm just contouring the face, you know, the huge. And then I'm gonna warm up the skin just a little bit with this Milani Baked Bronzer in Dolce. And I'm just gonna apply this a little bit more liberally than I did with the Physician's Formula one. I'm putting this everywhere and just giving my skin an overall warmth. For blush, I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier blush in the shade Wind Flush. And I'm building this color up because it is a little bit sheer, but I'm building it up on my cheeks and I just love this color. Okay, so in my favorites video, I highlighted with the Pixie Glowy Powder in the shade Santorini Sunset. That was a highlight that was on my face. It was in my favorites video, but I just got this in the mail. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit with Nicole Guerrero. This is her collab, and oh my gosh, I am so excited to try this out. I love Nicole Guerrero. I've been watching her from the beginning. I have been watching her since she had red hair, like red hair. I love her, she's like an OG for me, and I just, I love her, I love her so much. So I'm so excited to try this out. They do look glittery to me. When I look at them in the pan, a lot of people keep saying that there aren't any glitters, but I, I totes see glitter when I look at this. The only ones that don't really have that much glitter are these three, but I have faith in this because I love the glow kits. The only glow kit I didn't like was their newest one. I'm gonna take the shade Forever Young because I feel like this one is gonna be light enough for me. I really like that color. It's a really pretty pink, but on the skin it comes off a little lighter, which I like. That is so intense, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I broke a nail, by the way. Look at that, I broke it. My nails were doing so good, they were getting so long. Damn it. If you have a lot of texture on your skin, you might not like these highlights, but I mean, <laughs> what highlight doesn't emphasize texture? There are very few that don't emphasize the texture. They have to be like extremely natural, which I like as well, but sometimes I like a little bit of a glow like this. I definitely applied too much right here in the, in the center. Let me blend that. Let me blend that with my blush brush. Maybe that'll be smarter than my bronzer brush. So yeah, I'm just dusting off. There are like little tiny glitters, but when you go like this, like they dust away. Okay, so you already know I need to set my face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. It's my favorite. I cannot stop using this. I can't, I can't. I don't even touch my other setting sprays. I just want to make a small little disclaimer really quick. I don't know why, but I went setting spray happy. I applied way too much setting spray. I look borderline uh, oily in this video. Not that that's bad. I just, I did apply way too much setting spray and it kind of effed with my foundation mixture. So I look a little greasy. I know. I apologize. Just wanted to make that disclaimer. Okay, back to the video. The mist. <laughs> why would I try to talk while I'm doing that? The mist on this is just so good, so good. So while I let that dry on my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the look by adding my lip color. This is the lip color I was wearing in my favorites video, so of course I'm gonna put it on today. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Aquarius. Okay guys, so then that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Fudge ball. I'm gonna go into that first crease. I'm gonna go in. <clears throat>